Season number five of this North Ants rebuild, and we're coming off an absolute blinder. Two seasons in Division 1, a third place finish, a first place finish, 247 points. We only lost one game all season with 10 victories. We picked up the win. Out of nowhere, we went and won the Blast. The Blast was a difficult campaign for us, where we were 500 teams, 7 wins, 7 losses. But we got hot at the right stage, the batters got hot, and we went and won two trophies. So today, as always, we're going to have a little bit of a deep dive into the stats. There's some interesting stuff going on. And we need to work through our recruitment policy of what we're going to do, what we're going to achieve over the next year. We only need one more title to complete the set. So looking at North Ants, we've got, we've got two titles, but we've got a Division 2 title as well. So D1, Blast, D2 title, Royal London Cup to come. Uh, no last place finishes in any of the competitions, no relegations. And we've also finished first as the number one ranked team in the county championship for the very first time. You can see that here. It's a good trajectory from where we started, 15th, 10th, 7th, and now 1st. I did tinker with some of the algorithm that works this out and put some higher points in there for teams that win a lot. I thought that's a relevant point. But we're up to 80 points, 7th in the 6th in the Blast, 7th in the Royal London Cup. Our rating of 80 is the 4th highest in the competition so far. Uh, Blast 1 is down right down here. So we've got a bit of work to do, but... Overall, some really good, consistent steps forward. Plenty of hundreds and two innings of the county championship. Our Rishi Patel went and scored 174 and 124 against Leicestershire. Uh, but there was quite a lot last year. The highest score overall is still Peter Hanscom's in 2024. Ben Duckett in 2026 scored a 226 against Essex, uh, which is a fine knock. I've changed the pairs combination to just being king pairs. People that got out uh, first ball... In both innings, Dom Sibley this year against Leicestershire had a mare, Ben Mike, in his back pocket. Ben Mike's caused us problems in this campaign here. Uh, caught Gibson first ball, caught Mike first ball. What's interesting about Dom Sibley is he actually got a pair the previous week in the county championship. So that's quite incredible. Uh, no more individual 99s not out. Most runs in the game. Keaton Jennings, 2024, still there. Uh, but Hargrave, which is obviously one of the new players coming through. He gets on there, uh, and Patel, 298, the fourth most amount of runs in a game. Uh, fine, fine performance. Five wickets in an innings, Dylan Pennington, Tom Laws goes on to Jordan Buckingham. Seems to be a year-on-year. Year. In fact, Tom Laws went and did it twice in the same year. It's happened for us, but it's only happened for us with Sam Cook. And we can uh, show that by clicking on Northamptonshire, and it's just Sam Cook. New best bowling figures in the game as well. 8 for 55 uh, by Smith. The Kiwi getting it done. Interesting. Royal London Cup. <laughs> so the Royal London Cup and the Blast all appear on like the top 10 list, which is uh, pretty amazing. So since we started the save, there's an average of 30.25 in the county championship for batters. Uh, and the average is around 39, 34 for your number 2, 33. Number 4 seems to be the best position in the order, have the highest strike rate, have the uh, highest balls per out. Um, and if we take a, a little look at the blast as well, 158 strike rate, 160 strike rate. Oh, this is just for last year, sorry. If I change that across all years, kind of works down. And what's really interesting when you look at us as a batting unit, you watch that line of strike rates, as is way below that, but our end of the innings, we really make up for it. And that's what kind of gives us a fighter's chance at times. As we start to work into what our strategy is going to look like and what we what holes we need to plug, I think some of the things we need to look at is how good we've actually been. And it's the county championship for me where I feel like we've made a big difference. We average 40 in the competition. Uh, that's outstanding. And since we started the save, we're the only team that's ever done that. That's how good our campaign was last season. Uh, 1700s was emphatic. And if we click into the blast as well... Our average was a top six average. Our strike rate is always our problem. Uh, it was a 144 strike rate season. Uh, but we were better at 141. That's that's not a... There are better places to be. But it's not a bad place to be. Uh, Royal London Cup, unfortunately, didn't quite go as well as we liked. We're not bad. We're a top six batting unit in that competition. 
with the ball just to emphasise how good we were in the Cameron Championship and we were the best team. There was an average of 31.52 for bowlers. We had the best average in the campaign, 26.34. Our strike rate of 50.49 probably isn't that high. Yeah, kind of top seven, top eight kind of category. Uh, Royal London Cup, I think our bowling is, to me, appears to be the problem. So average of 32 was at the top, and we're kind of middling at 31.17. So middle of the road sort of team. Uh, the Blast, we had the best bowling average in the competition. That's why we got hot with the bat towards the end, but our bowling unit kept us in it. We had the best strike rate. I always talk about strike rate being key, uh, and we had a top six bowling unit. So some, some really good things to like about that. And if we look at our county championship team, Josh Bohannon, Patel, and Bean, and Lacey, they're four players that we can set our watch by. We know we're going to get them each time. The gap that we've actually got is when Jaeger's available, he averaged 51.43. He's got a career average in the 60s, and Max Holden didn't fill the gap. So what we actually need is another batter to come in and bat in that top six when Jaeger's away. But everything else about the lineup we like. With the blast, Tom Banton was exceptional with a 161 strike rate. We had a 141 strike rate, but this middle order was bad. Max Holden's definitely worth another go, averaging 26 350s, got hot towards the end. Uh, Emilio Gay actually did pretty well at number three towards the end of the campaign, but Bean and Bahannon shouldn't be anywhere near the lineup. So we've got to find middle order batters for the blast uh, as a priority. In fact, here, this is our team and how we've done year on year in Josh Bahannon's 1,348 last season most runs we've had. So again, looking at the championship last year, this time with the ball, we, we made some big moves, didn't we? We went with a Matt Critchley and we went with a Tom Price. Tom Price was underutilised, he was away with England and then maybe I may or not forgot about him a little bit. Um, Irwin was slightly disappointing but had some international time, but the spin combination worked really well. Critchley with 37 wickets at 20, Zabe 43 wickets at 27. It's not going to work every single game. Zabe's expensive as well, goes at 4.09, but strike rate of 40. We, we finished off innings really well, that kind of 50 to 80 over period. That's key for us. What I think we need, actually, is another bowler, if we can, that could come in for and Irwin if he's away. Because when Agar, Cook and Irwin's together, we're actually a really, really strong team. So not heaps to dislike about the championship. We just need a batter and maybe a backup bowler. With the blast, we definitely need batting in the middle order. Uh, with the ball, we were we were good. Scrimshaw's there. I love Scrimshaw because he's a strike rate bowler. He takes wicket every basically nine deliveries, which is outstanding. 69% better than the league average in terms of taking a wicket. Uh, per ball, excellent. Cook was really good. Economy rate of 7.51. Strike rate was good. Irwin was good even though he played nine games. Agar was good. Uh, Price was great when he played. Economy rate was really good. Again, probably a backup bowler. So we need a backup bowler for the championship in this. And we need a backup batter for the championship. And we need some batting in the blast. Royal London Cup is where we've got problems. If we could solve the bowling, I think we'd be competitive because we've actually got some pretty reasonable players there. Mousley, Sales, Agar, Everson and Price. So if there's an opportunity to bring in players that can play in that competition, we should be taking it. There we go. English 20 over cup one, county championship one. Would you like the England job? No, thank you. I'm not finished here. Contracts. Exciting times. David Willey's retired. Well, that saved me a job of wondering whether I'd give him a new contract. Uh, Rishi Patel, it's a no-brainer for Rishi Patel, isn't it? This is Rishi Patel year on year, and if we sort it by season, 900 runs, 900 runs, 900 runs, 1,300 runs. Every metric is strike rate, is balls per hour, average is going up across the county championship. He's 41% better than the top six average. That's how good he is. Corbett's played bits of cricket for us. Burton's played picks, picks of bits, bits of cricket. Uh, Rob Keogh's an interesting one because he was our superstar year one, but he's actually not actually played the last two years. So I think it's time to say bye to Rob Keogh. Uh, Sam Cook has been exceptional in the championship for us. He's just an incredible specimen. Yes, his wickets have gone down, but his performance last year averaging 21, uh, economy rate of 2.03, gives you such control in the game. And looking at him in the blast as well, actually, 
it feels like he's an incredible blast cricketer with a 7.67 economy rate. That is outstanding. Wes Agar's still 30. He's worth another year. We get him 100% of the time and he's been very, very good. I'm going to give Corbett a couple of years. Yap, who's come through the Youth Academy, no. We do need some backups, <laughs> which is where these guys kind of come in. We've got a shed load of money, so I think maybe I'll let all of these players go. I'm letting them all go. There we go. Decision made. They are all going. We're holding on to the gold. We've got 287,000 to play with. First thing he does is look at the youth players. There's a player here that I feel is going to make waves. All-round spinning option. We don't need an all-round spinning option. But Edwards here averages 43 with the bat and 29 with the ball in three-day cricket and one-day cricket, 42, 32, and the blast 15 and 28. Uh, that's that's exceptional and quite scarily exceptional. The other player that's worth a look here is Od Odie. 88 wickets at 24, going into one-day cricket, 32 at 26, 28 at 20. Um, I'm, I'm going to do it, but that doesn't mean I'm actually going to go through with it. There's not a great deal on the market this time. Sometimes we've been, you know, ravaged with players and we're wondering what we can do. But I'm not actually finding anything here that makes me want to take a punt. Yeah, there's a, a Tom Curran there. But look at the... Uh, maybe slightly overrated. Maybe. So I think what we might want to do is have a look at overseas players. Pretty Shaw's available. He's not a bad player. He could add some depth to our batting lineup in T20 cricket. Cameron Green, 97%. Oh, that would be a signing. I'm going to take a punt on Cam Green. A bowler gives us depth, gives us an extra option. He can bat, he can play all formats. Stick that alongside two young players, Edwards and Odie. This is not the transfer window I thought it would be. Now it's starting to change. Scott Curry is available. Not a bad player. T plays all formats. Mason Crane's available. We don't, definitely don't need a spinner. Amar Verde is available. Still, we definitely don't need a spinner. Pat Brown took 84 wickets last year. 11 in the Royal London Cup. Ah, nice. It's good, but I don't feel we need to spend the money there. There are a lot of players that's just come on the market. Nathan Smith's free. But he averaged 43 in the one-day cup last time around. So that's not quite going to work for us. It's telling me Pat Cummins is available 97% of time. I don't believe it. But I've signed him anyway. I want to have a look at Wadira. Because he has scored a shed load of runs against us. Average third is in most competitions. I feel like he could be a backup reserve for us. Oh, 40k only. That's disappointing. Oh, Oh, look who's just come on the market. Finch might mean more to me than it does to you, but last time out, he was outstanding. Last save out, 2023 game. But here, he can't get a game. Can't get a game. He's obviously not that good. We're going to close our window. We've uh, officially plugged zero gaps that we were trying to plug. We've got a couple of youth players and we've got a couple of overseas players. Laces improved his batting technique over the winter. Odis improved his attacking bowling. Love the young lad. And Sales has improved his defensive one-day bowling. Tactical ploy. Thinking that he might be available around the Royal London Cup. Jaeger's off in the IPL. Jaeger's getting it done. If you want to have a quick look to see what's going on. England in the top two for the Test World Championship. Never won it. New Zealand, Australia, India, Pakistan picking up the last one. Uh, if we look at the world rankings, England the best team in the world. India down in fifth. India the best one-day team, India the best T20 team. And with the bat, it's still the Kane Williamson show. Ollie Pope, Ben Duckett there. Is Jaeger there? I thought he might be slightly higher than this. James Rue at 20th. No, I, I don't feel like I have. I feel like he's down in 30th. Averaging 48. It's not that bad, is it? This is going to be a different sort of team. We're... What sort of wicket are we preparing? I don't think we want to prepare a spinning wicket here. I actually feel we're better with a seaming wicket because we've got Cook, Scrimshaw, Cummings, Price and Cam Green. So we could actually take Critchley out, not play a spinner and play the extra batter. I know we didn't, we really didn't plug the batting gap we, we had. 
Jaeger's away, so he would come back in naturally. Or you can leave Critchley in, because we're actually batting down to eight. Cummings is a good bat. <laughs> Scrimshaw's got over a 1,000 runs in the game. If you saw the YouTube post that I make, he's doing all right for himself. It does give us one spinner on a spinning wicket. So I think home game. I did see something online. I'm going against my judgment here. I like to take wickets, but I'm going to pick a batting wicket on the proviso that we've got a Cummings, a Green, a Scrimshaw, and a Cook, and a Price, and a Critchley, and we should be able to get through them. Do we take Critchley over Safe Zabe? That's the question. Oh, there's, n there's not a lot between it, is there? There's not a lot between it. I feel like Zabe, over the course of the years, has been the better batter, but that's what we're going with. We are a four and three. Through nine tenths rated team. We've won the toss against a Sussex team who's got Joffre Archer, Ollie Robinson, Kovac. I'm glad I didn't pick a seaman wicket. It's going to be a difficult game, but we've won the toss and we're batting. Oh, we've won one. We've won one when we didn't deserve to win it. We built a road and no one scored 100 in the game. James Coles had a cracking game with uh, 98 and he got two for six here, but it was a big two for six. Um, Really interesting. Came on ball two overs, literally took two for six, got out both openers. We get 2-5-1. Emilio Gay held us together pretty strong. Cam Green with 44. Cam Green top scored second innings, second top score first innings, and took a few wickets in the bag as well. I thought it was a pretty decent performance by him. Got down to needing about 250 to win. And George Scrimshaw got it done. Tom Haynes looks like he was going to give him the win, but we got a wicket. Uh, and we get a win. We're on the board. Going up playing on Glamorgan on a, another good bowl in semen sorted deck. So that's what we're going to do. Slightly disappointed with uh, Pat Cummins' first game. I know it's only one game, but not a bad Glamorgan team, actually. Ravinder, Byram, Kieran Carlson, Dan Douthwaite, who uh, can just blow teams away on this game. Oh, we're down to the wire. 331 for 9. Glamorgan are chasing in victory. They need 5 to win. And Cummings, we've just taken the new ball, has picked up a wicket LBW. This is up for grabs. We're going to win. Oh, it's, it's favouring them. Five to win. Oh, he's pumped it down the ground. He's pumped it for six. We've gone and lost to Glamorgan. That's an absolute calamitous loss for us. Batting again let us down. Second inning was good. 429 uh, for four. The, and the run rate was exceptional. We accelerated really well. Lacey with a ton. Patel with a ton. First inning scores letting us down, and I said, Dan Douthwaite can run through you. Dan Douthwaite went and ran through us. Yeah. Jennings, Salt, Butler, Hartley, Josh Boyden, number 12 in the world. We've won the toss. We're going to bat. It's a bowling condition sort of blah, game. We win, but we made it difficult. They had some exceptional innings. So did we. We scored 380, Finley being with this first ton of the season. We did get blown away. Um, Oscar Bess, 18 years old, taking 5 for 91. Blew them out of the water. Pat Cummins hasn't been that good. He goes and takes 8 for 32. 8 for 32 is the best figures in the entirety of our save so far. They follow on score, massive. 391, Blessings Hall, 21-year-old overseas player from South Africa. Averaging 39 in Test cricket. He scores 188. Really stifles us. And we get over the line just... We lose wickets. It was a poor wicket. Uh, but we made a good game out of it and we got a win. Top order, three games down, performing. Josh Pahanen only averaging 29, but that will change with the ball. Critchley, 7 at 34. That's okay. Everyone else, uh, pretty good. Scrimshaw, 12 wickets at 33. The only question mark, we could bring in Irwin. Does that bump us up to a five-star team if we did? Exactly the same. Going up against Yorkshire, Alior, Lucas, Brook, Root, Best, Swanapal, Code, Fisher. Uh, this is going to be hard on this sort of wicket. Another win. This one's a really good win. Because we looked at what the weather conditions was like. We cashed in on the first day. Even though they put us in. Uh, Patel and Bean both scored hundreds. Bahannon scored a well-made 79 of 129. This was quite fast for him. A 61 strike rate. I like that. Emilio Gay with fast runs down the order. We get 500 in 140 overs. Reasonable. Bowl them out for 162. Price and Irwin really did the damage and blew them away. And then 171 all out in the second innings. It's a comprehensive win. Jaeger's still away on international duty. A little bit out of form. No hundreds in his most recent performances. In fact, averaging 37 this year. 
uh, in one day cricket. A couple of first class games for England. Nothing for us. Sorry. Five. Oh, we're so close to five stars. There's a tiny bit of black if you can make that out. Going up against Surrey. Uh, it's a beautiful condition uh, to play in. Haynes, Lawrence, Sibley, folks, Curran, Laws, Atkinson, Turner, Topley. That is absolutely exceptional. I'm surprised they haven't won more. Okay, 100% draw in 200 simulations. 59 minutes to knock off 153. Uh, it's a game petering towards a draw. Um, not a bad performance from the team. We batted really well up top. 535 for 7. Cam Green, 119. Josh Bohannon with 100. Critchley with a fast 100. We bowled well, but it was just a road. And they're just a good team. Lacey and Price are both on international duty. And Jaeger's out as well. Odie's out as well. It's causing carnage to the team. Lacey's been really good this year, averaging 42. He got that big 100 earlier on. Do we go a Corbett, a Holden, a Vasconcelos, or a Dan Mousley sort of player? I'm going to give Dan Mousley a shout. Didn't think I was going to do that, but that's... <laughs> That's what I've just come away with. Uh, and with the ball, this... Oh, we've got Scrimshaw that can come in. That's okay. And we just pop Scrimshaw down one. That's not too bad. Uh, with the ball, slight concerns at times. So, batting. I don't want to see batting. Bowling, strike rates. 80 for Irwin, 75 for Cook. You don't win many games when you're doing that, but we are playing against what is, on paper, a pretty average Warwickshire team. Another win, 144 runs. Uh, no big tons here. Patel with 81 was pretty good. Cam Green, a 69 and a 71. His batting form is without huge scores, has been really consistent. Sam Cook cashed in some wicket chips here. Four for 27, blew away Warwickshire. We thought we might, we did. Cummins with a six to get us a win. We're going to the T20 break. Looking nice. Top of the table, 100 points. Four wins, one loss, one draw. So missing players. Emilio Gay, who came in at three last year in the Blast, is out. Jaeger's out injured for two weeks. Patel's a no, Corbett's a no. Bahannon's obviously no, and Bean's a no. So this is what we're trying to do. We're trying to restructure that middle order. Tom Banton can, can keep wicket. What I'm thinking is going Vasconcelos at three. Green 4, Lacey 5, Mousley 6, and then we're into bowlers. Cam Green gives us an extra seamer. Could work out. It's also hard to work out how to structure your... Um, it's, it's basically how do you structure your bowlers. So last time around, we obviously didn't have Pat Cummins, but Scrimshaw was expensive economically. Went at nines, but strike rate. Strike rate, strike rate, strike rate. Price. Critchley didn't bowl. Actually, we went with Safe Zabe, and I feel like Safe Zabe's a safer option. It does mean we leave Irwin on the bench, who went to under eights last time. But we're trading that off with having Cam Green in the top. So that's the sort of team we're going with. We're four stars going against a four and a bit star Worcestershire team. We lose by 11. We should not have lost this game. Lacey scores a 50. We restrict them to 147 and bowled really, really well. Just Scrimshaw slightly expensive. Everyone else, absolutely expensive. Cummings expensive, going at 13s, but four wickets in the, and three of them in the power play. But that's a bad loss to take. We're a 500 team next year. Are we any better this year? Win against Durham, good stuff. Cummings, three for 21. Cook, two for 22. We had them rattled at five for 97 at one stage. Uh, we just did enough. I batted Max Holden slower to try and get him in because he hasn't played a lot of cricket, but coaching effect 40%, maybe starting to go up, he scored some runs in the second team, uh, and Lacey went at a run of ball, but again, I batted him slow because I felt we just needed some stability in the lineup, and we've been decimated, Green and Cummins have gone on international duty, Jaeger and Lacey is on international duty, the team has been ripped apart, Cummings one's an easy one because Irwin can come in. Uh, the batting lineup um, is potentially going to give me kittens. Corbett's going to come in. These are just not like for like replacements. We go with Rishi Patel. <laughs> 172 strike rate last year. That that wasn't for us. Don't know where he, he went and plied his trade in the off season. 
uh, eight games. Definitely was not for us. Um, we are not as good a team as what we were. International stars gone. I, I think Wes Agar still might be available, but wasn't sure where I'd bring him in. We do win, and we win because of wickets. We got four in the power play. They they scored really well in the power play. Uh, almost, yeah, they were way ahead of us. But wickets, one, two, three, four, five early doors. We get the win. Cook with four. Jaeger's returned, and now he's on international duty as well. Um, the top order does cause me a vast amount of concern. We've gone backwards, essentially, and Tom Banton is now averaging six with a strike rate of 100. <laughs> oh, I can't believe we've won that. 127 all out we get. Vasconcelos holds us together, but we were we were in absolute dire straits. Wickets throughout. One, two, three gone in the first three overs. We get a score, and then I actually just bowled these guys straight through because they just kept taking wickets, and we just went and won a game of cricket with no batting. I don't know how we've just lost that. I actually don't. We bowl them out for 130, and we don't get there. <laughs> we just don't get there. No one could get the ball off the square. Everyone bowled really well. And then we just lost an absolute flurry of wickets <laughs> in the last few overs. One, two, three, four, five wickets in the last 12 balls and we don't knock it off. Uh, we actually, this might be the high score of the season. Rishi Patel, 66 off 41, batted reasonably well, got going towards the end. But save, save, this is what did it. 46 off 18, five sixes. Gave us a score. Tom Banton's just in a... Phew, I don't even know what you do with that. Uh, but we do well enough with the ball. Some good stuff. Scrimshaw, four. Couple of wickets in the power play. And Dan Mousley comes on. Second spinner option. And goes and takes three big ones. And Vasconcelos is out. Injured. And now we're running out of options drastically. Because we've either got defensive batter, defensive batter, or defensive batter. So a defensive batter is coming in. Yeah, got smashed by Durham. Uh, we just got blown away again. Max Holden. Not a lot going on there, is there? Uh, middle order. Nothing at a slow rate. And the tail just got saturated. Batting's the issue. Tom Banton's going at a 104 strike rate. There's just no moves I've got unless I bring in a Josh Bahannon. But Banton was exceptional last year with a 157. That's not in this competition. It's about 161. With the ball, things are reasonable. That's the only reason we're having a conversation about us being in the top two or three. Everything else is uh, is pretty woeful at the moment, actually. Smashed by Warwickshire as well. Same again. Batting, no good. And this is what we need. We've got Jaeger available. And we've got Lacey available. It means Rishi Patel somehow sticks in the team. What can you do? Emilio Gay's out. Vasconcelos is out. With the ball, Cam Green still away. We do have a Wes Agar card we can play, who has been very good for us. I don't think we do with the ball. I don't think we do. I don't think we need to... We need a wicket keeper. <laughs> and I've just put Wes Agar opening the bat in. It's, this is why we've got problems. We're a good team, four and a bit. It's execution at the moment, going against a strong Lancashire team. Lost to Lancashire. Here we go. The wheels are just coming off completely and we're out of the top four zone with five to go. I literally just can't stop the conveyor belt of uh, poorness around the top order. Just making a few switches. Patel at three, hopefully giving Jaeger and Lacey a bit more license down the order as our good players to get on with it. Um, likewise with the ball, I am going to go for a Wes Agar. Just under a four-star rated team, and but desperately, desperately need a win. <laughs> We get a win at long last, and we get runs from the top 155 opening partnership. It was emphatic. We didn't lose a wicket till the 16th over. The run rate crashed past that stage, but 100 for Tom Banton. Oh, I imagine the relief. He's just, just finding some form. Match form 36, match holding with runs, match form 56. Whew, we needed that. Two runs to win. With three balls remaining. Franks is on 56 and he's just gone on to strike. We needed one wicket and there was an edge for a single. Cook taking the ball into Franks. He beats the outside edge. Is there a nick on it? I don't think there is. Two to win from two. It's down to the wire in a must-win game. He's wrapped him on the pads. And that is the game. It is a one-wicket victory. They were cruising and Cook and Irwin and the team get it 
done over by over. Show me some of that. They were rocking in the middle. But those last two overs, we took four wickets. Five in the last five to pick up a one-run victory against all odds. With three games to go, we've got a chance. Match reduced. We're chasing against Derbyshire. 61 off six. 18 runs short. Not even close. A loss. But with two games to go, we've got a bit of good news coming into the squad. Because a Cameron Green with a 157 strike rate is back. Available will come in for Dan Mousley. And the superstar overseas signing, Pat Cummings, is available as well. I'm going to give him the new ball. Take the new ball, Pat. You're in charge around here. Irwin shouldn't be captain. Let's, let's change that. But gives the team, hopefully... A good change. Uh, slightly impressed with Rishi Patel's 132 strike rate, considering everyone else is uh, pretty woeful. We're back up to a four-star rated team. Must win. We're a 500 team. Six wins, six losses. And we get a win. Rishi Patel with 38. A slow 38. Well, 131 strike rate. It's in line with us as a team. Uh, and Jaeger and Zabe just cruise across the line. We're so far ahead of the game, thanks to some good bowling. Four for Tom Price. Their guys getting in and getting out. And uh, around about here, over 14, we managed to just overtake them. We're a 7-6 team. We're still not in the dance. However, it would take a lot for Nottinghamshire's 0 0.37 minus net run rate to overtake us. And now we've got a can Championship game with one game left. Five-star rated team. I love to see it. Jaeger, Lacey, Green all back in the lineup. Safe save comes in for Critchley. That is officially a dropping. We win. Didn't think there was going to be results here. We lost an hour. And it was a decent batting wicket. It was spinning a bit. Uh, but we're just running out of time. 5.16 off 140 for us. Um, yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. It's a good score. Green with 137. Jaeger 159. We declare twice. But that doesn't mean you're going to win a game. Because we've seen us go and lose games from this position. We race to... We go at fours, basically. Put on a good... Uh, a good little innings there. Pretty decent strike rate. They scored really fast, actually. They scored at almost fours. Ingram and Robinson were very, very good. Uh, but it was spinning. And we made good use of it. Safe save with a couple of wickets coming back into the team. Four for in that innings. We get a win. We're still top. And Jaeger goes and plays in the England Test team again. It is the problem. It's the problem with this method that we've got and the teams that we've put together is that people will get selected to play for England and more power to them. It does mean we're just possibly a tiny bit light on this team once again. Is it must win? Well, we've just got to make sure we don't get drubbed. We win. 152 and we defend it. Max Holden with 48. Green with a runner ball. It's a pretty poor innings on paper. Their innings was worse. We got four wickets in the power play, two apiece for Cummins, two apiece for Cook, and then we managed to roll through them. Safe save, just doing safe save type things. Most consistent play going around. We're going to play Glamorgan, who came third. We end up second in the group. We broke 500. Eight and six we go. Um, and obviously, you are not going to see any of our players in the top run scorer charts. Uh, and with regards to wickets, Sam Cook with 29. Quite incredible, 29 wickets at 12. Strike rate, 9. Economy rate, 7.87. That's GOAT material, if you ask me. Um, everyone else just reasonable. Price may be slightly expensive for that sort of player, but with the bat, with <laughs> there's concerns, but we keep managed to win just enough games to go through. Uh, the Emilio Gay slot, what can you do? He's just come into the team, but Dan Mousley on the bench wasn't doing any better. We've just got to see what we do. Um We've got no one else available. Players, international duty. Uh, I'm worried that I've broke the bank playing, paying money for overseas stars. But what can you do? And what's the betting? Dan Dalthwaite runs through us. Also, Will Jacks has made the move across to Glamorgan. 20 to win off the last over. We're chasing 190. Oh, Cam Green, can you get us there? Oh, 91.5% says we will win. 20 to win. Oh, they will win. Ha! Yep, yeah, that makes sense. Cam Green, we need 18 to win from three balls. What a play miss. It's over. The back-to-back -back blast dream is gone. It's not a bad performance, but again, lack of firepower. Cam Green gets a 50. We lose by 10 runs. Slight recording issue there. But we are back, and we've got a new youth team player coming through, which is always exciting. Uh, we've got a guy called A. Allen. Please don't just be called Andy. Ashley, there we go. That's a little bit more exciting. 
apologies to any Andys. Averaging 47 in 13 cricket, 5 tonnes from 38 games, not bad. 1,500 runs at 37, 3 tonnes in one day cricket, not bad. And a strike rate of 130. That's actually quite a reasonable set of numbers that he's put together there. We've got OD as well that we could do with we could do with getting these guys some game time and some training. It's really important in my eyes to get them moving early and get them going in the right direction. And it's another win. And it's Dan Mousley going big with a couple of 50s. 56 and 64 top scored in both innings. Uh, averaging 64 this year. That's a pretty good return. They only played a couple of games. Good bowl. Pat Cummins, five for great. Irwin with seven in the game. Superb. It's another win, but we're not top. Yorkshire's gone and won the blast. Beat Knotts in the final. Knotts 117 all that. Blown by Swanapool. And Don Best picking up four for uh, before Ali Orr and Joe Root. Going about a 200 strike rate each. Looks pretty good. This is the game. It's five stars versus five stars. One versus two in the table. Lawrence, Haynes, Curran, Laws. The bowling attack is dangerous. Oh, it's a big six wicket victory. 20 points. They get 355. Frustrated. Based Alley. Uh, no offence, but I don't know who you are, but he has got an outstanding record. Test match averaging 46 as well. He bats really well. Sam Curran runs down the end, but we are behind the game. And we're struggling, but safe, save 50. Cam Green, 146. They they get it done. That's an incredible effort. We bowl them out for 148. Price with four for, and Patel gets us over the line. Some interesting stats on the year. Bahannon and Bean both averaging in the mid 30s. But Cam Green has gone over a thousand runs for us. Uh, Rishi, Rishi Patel, another good year, averaging 50. Dan Mousley coming in and averaging 57 is really good. Lacey dropping off. Jaeger's only played the one game and scored 180. Oh, it's a draw, but we've clung on. 11 points. They get 288. Irwin with five. Good runs down the middle order. Uh, Tom Moore scoring 50 always feels like a game fault against me. They get 322. After we're 40 runs behind, Bahannon 44. That's kind of his season. There's a real lack of scoring big runs. But 67 not out to draw the game. We're about 92 overs on the last day. And Finlay Beans out injured for three weeks going into the Royal London Cup. And the one that we need to win. Massively need to win. I think we're going to go with a bit of change. Corbett's going to sit on the guideline. Allen's going to come in. Uh, Vasconcelos will take the gloves. Bosch at three. Emilio Gay and Vasconcelos. Green at four. Dan Mousley at six. And then we've got some new bowlers in the mix. Pat Cummins is a, a welcome addition. Joey Everson's there. Tom Price is there. In fact, I'll push uh, Everson up a couple. But I'm thinking of giving Edwards a go, who's a new young player that's come through uh, that we signed, we didn't come through our system, but we signed him. I think he's worth a little look -see. And Odie, right arm fast, is definitely worth a look. Uh, career, 32 wickets, 26 in second team cricket. We've got other options. We've got Eben Lieburn we could bring in, who are young guys. Sales, who I've drastically underutilised during the campaign. Um, but we're a three and a half star rated team. It's not bad, it could be worse. It's not my best competition, but we're going to bat. Smashed him. 3-3-3 three, three, three for 9. Bosch gets 127. He was very good for in his first year in this competition last year. Goes and bags a ton. Uh, Milo Gay good. Cameron Green good. It's a good score. And then our bowling was okay. Edwards 4 for 2 for 41 off 10 alike. Odie was expensive in the power play. Smashed by Lanks. They get 305. Dan Mousley 5 for 40. Came on because Edwards was struggling. Green was struggling. Uh, in response, Bosch 43, then a lot of nothing. Allen's had a, a very poor start to life as a professional cricketer. Two second ball ducks. So much so, in fact, Corbett's coming in. Bumps us up to just under four stars as well. We win. Douglas Lewis is in full flight here. They get 165 all out. Tom Price with a good four. And Vasque with 81 not out to guide us home. And two and one. Two and one is reasonable. Another win. Bowl them out for 226. Having Pat Cummins at the top is good, but 158, meh. Tom Price and Joey Everson ran through the middle order. Getting it done. Bosch with 99. Red balloons go by. And uh, Corbett, 42 off 43. Guides us home, 3 and 1. Smashed by Worcester. They get 289. It was just too much. Every time I slightly up the aggression, bang, bang, 
bang bang and it happened twice here uh, over seven two wickets in and over and I think it was over 30 I just lost two wickets three wickets in seven balls completely changed the game Allen's on the rise improving his front foot batting I think I'm going to go with a change from Oddie who is uh, <laughs> that was last year 11 wickets at 44 this year 2 at 68 win by 2 runs Cam Green goes big again 116 goes big again he got an 86 but it's a good campaign uh, particularly when he's adding value with the ball as well but every time Vascon say lost these guys batting well up the aggression by 1 uh, and it leads to a disaster. They looked like they were going to win this game. They were chaw, chalk and cheese. Chalk and cheese with us? It was incredibly tight. They were ahead of the game. But we bowled really well at the death. Everson with the wicket. Cummins, Everson again. And Cummins got one here. So we got four, five in the last few overs, which was just enough. Leeburn came in and went at sixes. Dan Mousley went at ten. So it's not always going to be sunshine and rainbows, but... It's tight. Six games down. Ooh, could call it the driving seat with a game in hand. That's a good win because we did not play well. 2-4-8. Cam Green top scores again. Every time Vasconcelos and Bahannon get a start, they get out. Uh, but the bowling got it done. They had a good start. But Cummins 3, Green 3, Price and Everson were really good in those middle overs. One game to go. We're on 10 points. We look like... We might be going to the promised land, and the promised land is the quarterfinal slash semi-final of the Royal London Cup. I know it could be bigger and better. Emilio Gay only averaging 19 is a, a, a concern, but what do you do? Bring in Allen? <laughs> Not going to do that, bro. You just had two uh, second ball ducks on the trot. We're in the midst of one of the great run chases. Chasing about 388 here. Corbett's on 93. Not out. Win predictor likes us 12% of the time. Single. Gets off strike. Single and off strike is not what we need. 18 off four. Dot ball. We lose by 11, but that is a fine effort. But with the bat, Dennis Agarwal always scores runs against us. But Dennis here, 24 years old Jonathan Dennis, he went big. Tom Price got five for, but it was all at the end. Everyone took an absolute pasting. But we are through against Warwickshire, who finished second. And we do get some support coming back into the team. So Edwards is going to drop it out. Dan Mousley is currently averaging 13 with the bat. And Emilio Gay is going to drop out averaging 24. So plenty of changes. Patel in, Lacey in, Cook in. We could make more changes if we want. We could bring in Irwin. In fact, we will bring in Irwin. There we go. Just making changes left, right and centre. I've done this in the past in games. And when I make these sweeping changes when the 100's finished, it never works out very well. Oh my days, we've done it. We're into the semis. Sam Hain went big, 113 for him. Calm was 67. We were going around the park, but there was some consistency. Cummins and Cook were superb, and we rolled through that back end of the innings really well. A shed load of wickets towards the end. And the chase didn't look like it was on. It was three for 31. I was like, we've bottle job this. We've absolutely made a mess of it. Patel goes at four for 75. But Lacey 88 off 102. Corbett 143 off 122. His second century was absolutely superb. We put the foot down to the floor or into the semis. And unfortunately, we're going to be doing it without another two players. Irwin is out, so Scrimshaw is in. There's some spin in the wicket, so it's time to play cricket. Safe Zabe is coming in, particularly um, excellent strike rate in the blast for us. So what does that do to our team in the semis? We're three and a half star. Oh, we're three stars against a three and a half star team. It's not in our favour. We're going to bat. We're going to win. We lose. I can't believe we bloody lost two seven nine all out. We don't bat the innings again. Oh, just inconsistencies with the batting lineup and two eighty for six. I thought we had them, but they did what we just did. Tom Lamanby and Brooke Guest. Super put on a partnership 147 brought guest 104 to take him to the final it's the furthest we've gone but it's still not far enough and edwards has improved his attacking one day bowling so the blast has gone quarter final the royal london has gone semi-final it's down to the championship oh that's a win and a half we <sighs> this was a hard game but we were out of it at one second nisanka scores yet another hundred against us they're just players that we don't gel with against bowling against and 
Uh, he batted really well. Irwin came back from international duty. He picked up four wickets. His uh, test match record at 10 wickets at 26. One day record 25 at 53. We're getting a better, slightly, but slightly better return. Uh, Finley Binning scored a well-made 88. Much needed. His form this year, 697 runs. He's got a long way to go to get back to that kind of key thousand run thing that you want from the um, your openers. Ball them out for 184. Cam Green with a load of wickets. Pat Cummins continues to do uh, the Pat Cummins demolition train thing that he's doing. Um, if these numbers are correct, 55 at 20 is an excellent return. And we knock them off. Patel and Bahannon, 50 apiece. Green with 40. Mousley with 41 not out to take us home. Uh, we're at 11 points clear with the game in hand. Just looking at Cam Green, top run scorer, 1,097 at 51. Bahannon, 736 at 38. It's definitely a downturn in our batting. Lace has been uh, reasonably average, I think is a polite way of saying it as well. Safe save, 14 wickets at 20 is gold down there. Dan Mousley has been a nice addition at 6. Uh, the extra bowling slot is still a little elusive. Playing at Leicestershire, it's not a two-spinner sort of condition. Can't bring in Wes Agar. We've got Oddi, who we could bring in. But I think we're going to keep with Scrimshaw, who may be coming to the end of his tenure with us. 30 years old. Um, it's not They're not quite the same numbers they were, but not every season's going to be your best. But all we can do is step up against Leicester and try and pick up a win. <laughs> I can't believe we're in this position. Leicester's batted 162 overs, 379 for 9, with one over left in the game. Win predictors got us winning 12% of the time, but the draw 87% of the time. Traves has scored 143, number 9. Josh DeCares, 80. Tom Scriven with 37. We just can't blow away the tail. But we've got Pat Cummins and we need a wicket. Last ball of the game. Can we get a wicket to win? No, we can't. We I can't believe we've not won that. And it's a weird game of cricket, this, because both teams got blown away early doors. Dan Mousley top scored with 36. They got 109 scrimshaw with four for. Then Ben Mike blew away our top four. With top three, Cam Green went and made a well-made 100. And they were we were shooing. We had him six for 146, and they ended up 375 for nine. We drop points. 20 points clear. Pat Brown... Uh, yeah, maybe so just signed him. Only the 71 wickets lead in the country this year. <laughs> Derbyshire go and win the Royal London Cup. Good performance from them. They end up going back to back in a derby in the final. They only get 277. 277 is all right. Brooke Guest, who played that innings to knock us out, quarterfinals or semi finals, whenever that was, against a decent bowling. Lotton's not bad on the game. Josh Tong going at sevens. 277 knots, 230. Don't even get close. Anage Dow, Pfeiffer, rip through the top order. And with two games to go, we're playing against Nottinghamshire and we get some superstars back. I think Lace is going to be the one that gets dropped for Jaeger. He's going to come in at five. Tom Price is back for Scrimshaw. Just looking at stats with the ball. Cummins, 59 at 20. That's, that's really good. Sam Cook, 28 at 28, but an economy rate of 2.02 is pretty incredible. Irwin, when he's played... Oh, that includes, uh, no, that's including Test Match Cricket. No, Irwin, 40 wickets from nine games. That's a really good return. While he's not taking the new ball, Tom Price, good. Safe save, good. Dan Mousley's been good when he's added value. And Cam Green, 24 at 32, is the round about the sixth bowler that we're choosing. It's another, another poor condition sort of pitch, though. It's a biggie. Ten wicket victory. We asked them to follow on, and we only scored 3-6-4. And in a game where... Wickets were in abundance early doors. There was a 206 run partnership from Bahannon and Jaeger. Bahannon out for 99. He desperately needed some runs. Uh, he got them, but it's going to be hard fetched to score a thousand runs in average over 40. Only one century on the season. Jaeger comes in uh, and does a fine job. Two games for us this season 325 runs, an average of 162. Very useful. Cup with three, Cummins with three. Uh, then we asked him to follow on Cummins with five. He's had a wonderful campaign. We've not quite won the title. It's a it's a Northants one and two again. Dan Mousley's out injured for the final game of the season. Average of thirty seven on the campaign. That is that's pretty good. What I might do, 
and I should check to see how he's performing, is Alan here, who's come through the youth teams, averaging 63 in second team cricket. I think we're going to give a debut. We only, we only need a few points to win the title. That's a dangerous thing to do. Well, we're just going to chop and change with the youngsters at the end of the season. I don't think there's anything else we're doing. Matt Critchley's warming the bench. <laughs> You know, an abundance of money in the club from winning all those competitions. We're almost a five-star rated team. Going up against Lanks, Jennings, Salt, Balderson, Hartley, Wood, Boyden and Best. But I think Best ripped through us last time we played against them. It's a bit cloudy and overcast. I feel like we might have a ball. I might regret this, but let's get some points on the board. And we've done it. We're champions again. 20 big points. Sussex go and get a massive win. The Sanka with runs and Haynes with runs again. Oh, Curry with eight for. <clears throat> can't remember if we had the chance to sign him. It's been, you know, I've been playing this safe for a month, so sometimes things drop out. But uh, cracking performance again. We're top of the pops. Ten wins. I think we got ten wins last season. In terms of most runs on the campaign, Chandler with one thousand five hundred twenty-two. Brooke Guest didn't just score those runs against us uh, in the Royal London Cup. He had a great competition. Travescas, who just scored big runs against us as well. He's there. Cam Green, one thousand two hundred and eighty-three. Pat Cummins. 75 wickets on the season at 18 with an economy rate of 2.58. Absolutely world class. We're a two-time championship winner. We've got to the semis of the Royal London Cup. We've won the blast previously, but we got to the quarter-final. Overall, you've got to look at it and go, Bobby, that is a fine, fine campaign. You're heading in the right direction. You've just got one trophy to go. We'll see you for the start of season six next time.